One of the first Ukrainian families who fled their home country has made their way to Northeast Ohio, their home, their new home. They packed all they could in just a matter of hours and they left. Marissa Sine spent the day with them and how they're trying to rebuild their lives. We had one, one each and then a carry on. Out of this stuff, only that bag I think we brought. Oh yeah, and there's those two suitcases. The Kamuliak family has a two bedroom apartment. That's essentially empty. We packed some in the kitchen, we put some food that people brought. Three of them, Lumila and her two teenage children, Karina and Arthur, are trying to make it a home. It's gonna be my room and I'm gonna share it with my mom okay. because there's only two rooms. That's my bed. Okay. We don't have a bed for my mom yet. It's a home they're grateful for, but didn't expect to be their reality. It was a big stress for everyone, uh, and it was scary, and we were afraid. And we decided to come back because it was hard. Russia's invasion forced them back to Ohio, to Parma. The Kamuliaks lived here for nine years before going back to Ukraine to stay with family in 2020. We uh, were in rush, and there was not a lot of time to choose something. I was sleeping, and my mom woke me up that morning on Thursday. She's like, wake up, we need to leave. After waiting 10 hours to cross the Polish border and a flight to Toronto, they settled back here, trying to make the best of the situation. But I have a lot of good friends that help. They're helping with stuff, with job, with everything. Thank God. Even back to a familiar place, the memories of who they had to leave behind and why weighs heavy. Um, I have three brothers over there. The men are not allowed to leave the country, but they have to stay over there. Both Karina and Arthur are homeschooled, so they'll be able to continue to do the work. Their mom, Lumila, says that she's looking for a job herself. She's also looking for furniture to help fill the house. Marissa Signs, 3 News.